look at the size of this catfish. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Good morning. Dang alarm clock out there, you hear it? Yep. Oh. Time to get some coffee. Then pack up. And we'll see you at the boat. All right. Two nights here, ready to roll. Everything's good. Did a good once over. This bottle here, I'm just, I don't know what to do with it, so I can't bring it along with me, and I found it here. Maybe somebody else can do something. You ready, Donald? Let's do this. We'll get situated once we're on the water. Here we go. Beautiful day, beautiful morning. It's going to be a mighty, fine day the goal today is to get through omaha get to the other side so we're not stuck in town at night oh shoot we forgot we gotta stop over there we gotta pick up the crawdad trap boom boom they call me mr boombastic all right stay here cop cool it is deep Stay here. Don't go floating off on me now. Think we got any crawdads? I highly doubt it. Ooh, it went way out there. Good thing I had it tied off. Nothing. As expected. Tie a lasso in this thing or something? Hey, look at that. Don't float away, cop. Don't float away. Coming in, cop. All right, let's get out in the current. Now we have everything. All right, we are off. So at this point in the journey is what I'm realizing it's more of a test of endurance at this point. So up from Yankton to Sioux City, it was way different because the views were crazy. It was way wild. The river was still wild. At this point, the river has just been completely channelized by people. So it's essentially the same thing. And I have a feeling it's gonna be like this all the way down. So at this point, it's a test of just making it and sightseeing is not so much a thing at this point because it's all the same. Farmland and some trees. That's what I'm starting to realize. It's some sort of park up there and I do need more water. So I'm going to stop every chance I get to check. I have no idea if there's actually water here, but we're going to find out. Use those leg muscles. Come on. Gah. Um, hold on, cop. Good boy. Uh, let's see. If we can get water here, then we don't have to stop anywhere else. I don't believe we're going to be in luck. Come here, cop. Nope. No luck. Come on, cop. Let's go. Good boy. All right. Let's get back moving. 
Well, it's a bit warm out today. Let's do something. Come on, come. Let's see if we flip over. Good boy. This way. This will cool you off. <laughs> All right, let's get you back in. Come on. Good boy. Ooh, that feels good. Well, this is what I've been waiting for for a while. A nice tailwind to actually use my sail. This is my view. It's working out great. I can't believe it. I know around the next corner it probably won't, but right now we're making waves. Old Donald back there is plowing through the water and I'm not even paddling. This is great. This is great. Hopefully we can make it through Omaha. Omaha's coming up, so we'll see you there. All right, we did it. It's just the beginning though. It's going on one o'clock. And we made it to just the beginning of Omaha. What that means is I have roughly, what, six, seven hours-ish to make it all the way through Omaha on the other side because I do not want to sleep in Omaha tonight. Let's see if we can make it. And there's the city. Also, look at this bridge. It's a spinny type railroad. My guess is that it's not in operation anymore, but it could be. It'd be crazy if it actually started to spin right now. Come on, spin. <laughs> Pretty nuts, huh? The old walking bridge, Omaha. I remember when they put that thing up, people thought it was so cool. Which it is pretty cool. It's a nice bridge. You get to one side or the other. I think that's I-80. And if that's the case, now let me look real quick to see where we are. Nope, that's I-480. So we still got some time left. It's kind of crazy coming through the city and seeing all the activity of people. You know, seeing downtown. I have this strange feeling right now just coming over me. It's like... Not that I miss being in the city, but more or less, I could definitely go to a pub right now and hang out with some people. Hang out with some friends and stuff like that. Go to the local hole in the wall, get a good bite to eat, a cold beer. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, that's pretty, that's what I have going on right now. That's what I feel. That's what I want to be doing. <laughs> But it's not gonna happen. Not yet. Not until we hit, let's think about this, the next major city, which will be Kansas City. Once we get there, it can happen. I got really good friends there and we'll go to some bars or something. Get a good bite to eat, stay at their place. Look at all the birds. Yeah, anyhow, it's kind of crazy on how that feeling kind of just washed over me once I got into the city here. It's kind of crazy feeling, really. Feeling of wanting to socialize, I think, is what it is. But that's okay. That'll come soon enough. Gator. Look at it. I'm just kidding. Piece of wood. Actually, look in the back on the shore there, there's a turtle. There's actually a turtle over there, too. Sneak up quietly. And there it went. Looking for a place to stay tonight. Right outside of this power plant here. Let's see what we end up with. What a day. So this is what I came up with. I don't want to walk in too much mud here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as setting up my tent yet. I thought about right here. 
but it is a bit muddy still might do it just up here a little bit i was not going to set up the tent but i think i'm going to want it for bugs they might get rough we'll explore around a little bit but i'm pretty sure it's going to be right in this area this is going to be my home for the night right across where homer simpson works we made it through omaha we got the goal that i wanted to get done was to get through omaha before dark and it's six o'clock now so now it's time to eat something because i have not eaten anything all day a couple cliff bars but that's really about it there's probably mushrooms up here there's tons of mushroom hunters and they got their boat docks boat docked all through here but yeah nice white noise from the power plant ah <sighs> feels good to be off the boat for a little while we're gonna just wake up and do it again in the morning. Still 90 degrees tomorrow, the rest of the week, basically, it looks like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get camp set up, cook myself some food, and I'm gonna sleep good tonight because I'm exhausted. Just boil in some pasta. So here's the thing. The only container I had to do protein powders in kind of got super dirty on me. So I was like, well, I'll just pour some boiling water in it. Well, that didn't work out too well. It warped it all real bad. So this thing's junk. So now I don't have anything to make protein shakes in other than a gallon bag. So I like to have protein shakes after these long workout days that I'm going down the river because it's, it's a lot of work and Make do with what you got. Good morning. We're on the water. Just packed up this morning. Had a cup of coffee. Just packed up. This power plant way over here. It's ejecting a lot of water. I got to stay away from that. That's the plant. So today's goal is there's a campground a couple miles down on this side. We are going to go there in hopes of finding water. Fill up water. And then I'm going to fill up this bucket. And if we do that, we're getting a shower in today. If we get all that done, we're going to stop early and take a shower. It's much needed. So let's go see what we can find. Oh, this camera's making me angry. It didn't film that whole thing. I just hiked this water long ways. I got about 10 gallons worth. The camp worker was like, are you working here? Or are you camping here? And I was like, well, I'm actually just coming downstream. He's like, oh, yeah, last people that did that, they called ahead. And I just let them stay here for free. You should have done that. I was like, well, you know, apparently there's something called camp moms along the river that take care of you, feed you, do your laundry, all kinds of stuff. So I might have to look into that. Yeah, probably not. So that's quite interesting. I didn't know that was really a thing. But now we're back on the boat. The bucket's full of water. That's full of water. So we do have a shower now which is very, very appealing. All right, we're gonna keep on going. I don't know where we're gonna end up. I'm uh, probably gonna stop a little earlier today, maybe around one o'clock so I can get situated, get a shower. It's gonna be good. We got plenty of water now. It's actually cold. I should fill up my water bottle while it's cold. Well, the wind's getting crazier and we almost made it to where I wanted to go, which is over there. The waves are getting nuts. We're slowly making it. It's just a headwind right now. Flat river comes in right up here. I just want to make it at basically at the end of that. Here is where the Platte River meets the Missouri River. And then it flows into the Mississippi. Pretty neat. Gonna get some turbulent water here because of it, but that's okay. Yeah, there's slim pickings here, but the water got pretty rough. I was hoping for a little better, better spots. See, this is really, really wooded. And it is hot out. Holy cow. Okay, I think I got a new plan. I don't think you'll be able to see this. But about maybe three quarters of a mile down, there's a little channel, it looks like. I'm wondering if we could sneak up it. I think I saw the other side of it over there. It's gonna be flowing pretty good. But 
there's potential that we could do it. All right, we, I think, are going to continue because I just don't like this spot. You can't get out of the shade. It's kind of nuts, so we can't get in the shade. We're going to continue. I'll let you know what we find. As long as we don't get beached. Right there. Might be home. Might be okay too, because at night we might get a breeze through the tent. So here's the scoop. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or not because the wind is just ridiculous. I'm gonna try to get charged up here. I got the boat in the water still. I got my tent stuff, but I can't set nothing up because the wind is just nuts. I'm hoping it'll die off this evening. I'm just gonna hang out and wait it out. Maybe go find some place in the shade up here just to kind of hang out and see what happens. Well, this is gonna be me for the next few hours. Just sitting here on a stump. That's my view. The boat's behind the sandbar there. You can see it's windy. It's still really hot, so I'm just hiding in the shade. We're just gonna ride this one out. Maybe I'll uh, find a place to lay down or something. Who knows? Who knows? It is. I fell off the side of the sand bank and I broke my fishing pole. No. Oh well. Let's see if I can't fish my fix my pole. Oh, it's just in time for the. <laughs> we got one. I was gonna try to catch that cooler there. All right. Maybe we caught dinner. It's a fighter. Holy smokes. What did we got? Carp, maybe? I was gonna catch that cooler. Hopefully it had beer in it, but we might got dinner. Ooh, it's a big one, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> Broke my fishing pole and look what happens. Stop running with it. Come on, come on, stop it. I'm gonna get us tangled on something here. Woo. We got a fighter on our hands. Haven't seen it yet. Here it comes. Whoa, look at the size of this catfish. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That's the biggest catfish I've ever caught. Oh my God. Are you catching this camera? I sure hope so. <laughs> That's like a 50 pound catfish. Whoa, settle down there, caddy. Settle down. How in the hell am I gonna get this thing in for sure? That's way too much food for one person. Here it comes again. Here it comes. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is definitely the biggest catfish I've ever caught. In. It's going to take a while.
Here he comes. We're gonna size this thing. Whoa! Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Look at the size of him. Oh, let's see if we can go grab him. Settle down there, buddy. We'll get you back in the water. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Let's get this hook out. There we go. For just one person there would be too much to go to waste so i'm gonna get him back in the water crazy all I'm using for I'm just using this lure this right here that caught that big thing on my broken fishing pole <laughs> too bad it wasn't smaller because that would have been dinner but that was just way too much I couldn't it would have gone to waste there was no point <laughs> 